Hey guys, let's get more news from Dallas Cowboys, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Cowboys Dak Prescott Best QB in the NFL Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott is in perhaps the best groove of his NFL career over the last four games, with the San Francisco 49ers loss seeming like the catalyst for the turnaround. There is a case to be made that, statistically, Dak has been the top quarterback in the NFL over the last four games. He has thrown for 1,354 yards and 12 touchdowns, two rushing as well, with just two interceptions. That's not all. Prescott has had completion percentages over 73 times, and in all four games, he has had a quarterback rating of 109.3 or better. Former NFL cornerback Dominique Foxworth thinks that when you add it all up, there isn't a quarterback playing better football than Dak is right now. He's the best quarterback in the NFL, Foxworth said on ESPN's GetUp. Since that 49ers loss, he's been the best statistically by almost all the advanced metrics. Then, if you watch the games, you also notice he's not getting great protection. He's balling with the offensive line collapsing, he's not getting a running game as great as we thought Tony Pollard was, that running game does not exist. C.D. Lamb is playing well, but Dak, I think it making everything much easier for everyone around him, including the coaching staff. Before the Giants game, Prescott was sacked 13 times in three games as the offensive line struggled to protect him, but Dak continued to make plays, with his ability to scramble now being used as a weapon. As for the running game, it hasn't exactly been a smooth transition to Pollard taking over the number one role, as yards have proved tough to come by. He only has one 100-yard rushing game, and the Cowboys only have two games of over 134 rushing yards. So Prescott can't lean on the run game like many thought he could. But it doesn't matter, as Dak still finds ways to make plays and put up points. Additionally, Prescott has had a 90-plus PFF grade four times this season, which is the most in the NFL. There has been MVP talk, but in truth, we need to see Prescott extend this fine form for a little longer, perhaps until week 14 when Dallas faces Philadelphia. But for now, you will be hard-pressed to find a quarterback who is playing at a higher level than Rain Dakota Prescott. Dak Prescott as NFL MVP? The best says Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones. There has been MVP candidate buzz circling around Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott, and team owner Jerry Jones is all over the conversation in support of Prescott. I certainly do, think he belongs in the conversation, Jones said as on Tuesday, Jones made his weekly appearance on 105.3 The Fan with Sean and RJ, he's put games together that are the best of his career, in my view. And the best right at the top of many that I've seen. It's the fact he's doing them back-to-back -back and, of course, his play, and how he's impacting those games. Prescott has recorded a total of 1,354 yards, 12 touchdowns, and only two interceptions in his past four matchups this season. During that time frame, the Cowboys have acquired a 3-to-1 record. Dallas quarterback is ranked number one amongst all NFL quarterbacks when it comes to his passing completion rate, 70.7%. He is also tied with four other quarterbacks for the third most touchdowns in the league at 17. Jones applauds Prescott's athletic ability on the field, but he is more impressed with his work ethic and mentality entering the matchups every week. I don't want to say he's making it look easy. But, boy is he really in a position not only physical, but it's mental, Jones said. He's really showed us all hard work, all the time he's put in and, frankly, the adjustments that have been made the past year. We're really seeing the fruits of that. If you put the work in and you take it to the practice field and you take it to the game, then it pays off. He is the best I've ever seen from taking it in the classroom to the field and we're seeing the fruits of that. Cowboys could sign x raider starter to replace Leighton Vander Esch. The Dallas Cowboys are coming off a big divisional win, but the loss of Leighton Vander Esch may require the team to add reinforcements. In terms of potential additions, one name that stands out is former Tennessee Titans and Las Vegas Raiders linebacker Jayon Brown. It's a bad beat for both the Cowboys and Vander Esch, whose reoccurring neck injuries may be bringing his career to a premature end. However, Dallas has to figure out a solution going forward. An immediate option would be adding Brown. Up front, Brown is no Vander Esch and probably wouldn't outclass Rashawn Evans. Evans just dropped a solid performance after being called up from the practice squad. 
That being said, it was against a New York Giants team that is dead in the water. Adding someone like Brown ensures the Cowboys at least have multiple experienced options. Evans has looked fine in a limited capacity, but there's no guarantee that will continue. Brown has shown flashes of top-level play in the NFL, like Evans. There's very little risk to signing him to a practice squad deal, but it both ensures and potentially elevates the defense's capabilities. After his second season in the NFL, Jayon Brown looked like an up-and-coming star in the NFL. The Titans have built an identity around getting the most out of defenders, and Brown's a perfect example. Brown was a fifth-round pick in 2017 and spent his rookie year adjusting to the league. But in 2018, the former UCLA Bruin showcased his talents. According to PFR, the 28-year-old racked up 64 solo tackles, six sacks, two forced fumbles and six passes defended with a pick six. Considering he started just nine games, that's an insane amount of impact. In nearly every category, Brown was showing up in a big way in the box score. 2019 was also impressive, defending eight passes and making a pick, as well as registering 69 solo tackles. But the injury bug hit Brown in a major way. In three consecutive years, Brown was placed on the injured reserve with different injuries. He missed 22 games, but he still brought down two INT and made 11 passes defended, two forced fumbles and a sack in the 28 games over that span. While Dallas decides how to handle the Vander Esch situation, they just saw former linebacker Anthony Barr sign with the Minnesota Vikings. Barr only played for Dallas in 2022, but was a solid pickup when was having injury issues. That being said, he was not re-signed by the Cowboys and did not land on a new team until this week. Barr signed with the Vikings on November 13, as Heavy's DJ Siddiqui recently covered. Reports indicated that the four-time pro bowler was also considering the Philadelphia Eagles. Barr elected to return to Minneapolis for another season instead. The Cowboys and Vikings are not currently set for a matchup this season. However, the Vikings are making a playoff push like the Cowboys. In a scenario where they meet, it would likely require one of the two teams to win their division. And you fan, what do you think of the Jayon Brown situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.